everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some mince pies. Now I have done mince pies a, a couple of times on uh, my blog and on YouTube as well. Um, but these are going to be deep filled mince pies. I'm going to use these little aluminium um, cups to hold them. Uh, this is the sort of uh, thing that they are um, presented in uh, when you buy them from the supermarkets um, and hopefully the pastry for this is going to be nice and tender um, as I say I, I have other videos one where uh, I use shop-bought short crust pastry and another where I make the pastry myself and again one with shop-bought mincemeat and another one where I use my own mincemeat so below this video I would put a link to those videos as well and those recipes and a recipe uh, for making your own mincemeat just in case you can't buy it from the shop. So we'll go on to the ingredients and for the ingredients I have 225 grams which is two sticks of softened unsalted butter. I have um, 454 grams one pound or one and two thirds cups of mincemeat. I have 390 grams of uh, plain flour, which is three cups. I have 75 grams or six tablespoons of caster sugar. I have three medium egg yolks, that would be large in the USA. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of salt. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to cream the butter well I'm going to first of all I'm going to put the salt into the flour so I don't forget it later first thing I'm going to do after that is to cream the butter with the sugar and I'm going to do that I could do it by hand but I'm going to do it with my hand mixer just for ease that also the hand mix will also uh, help soften the butter if any of it's still a little bit firm So I'll just cream this together until it's all nice and uh, fluffy. And with that cream together, I'm actually going to put in the eggs. Now one of my eggs, egg, uh, egg yolks broke, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put them in, trying to put in uh, one at a time and I'm going to cre uh, mix those in until they're all combined. So that's the egg yolks mixed in and I'm going to add the vanilla extract in and mix that in as well. So with that mixed in, the next thing to do is to add the flour and the salt. So I'm just going to scrape down that mixture and I'm going to put the flour and the salt in. I'm just going to um, give that a little stir, mix the salt a little bit. I'm going to 
tip that in and I'm going to just fold that into the butter mixture until it forms a nice paste dough and if necessary I will use my hand to pull it together and that's almost come together so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just squeeze that with my hand and we'll find that that will come into a dough just like that As you can see that comes into a dough quite easily. So then what I'm going to do is to put that into some plastic wrap and I'm going to chill it for 30 minutes. form it into a disc and then that will go in the fridge and chill for 30 minutes then I'll come back and uh, we'll take it out and we'll fill the uh, pastry cases with this and the mince meat ready for baking. So I've taken the um, pastry out of the fridge and I've uh, divided it into two thirds and one third and I'll put the one third back in the fridge that will be the top of the mince pies. So uh, this is the remaining two thirds and I'm actually going to, um, if I can, just because it's, it's sort of very um, delicate, but if I can, I'm going to roll it into a, a log. Now you could roll this pastry out if you wanted to, but I'm actually going to press this into the, the moulds. What I want to do is um, divide this into about 12 pieces and it doesn't matter if I'm not entirely accurate because we can patch it as we need to. And then I'm going to take one piece and I'm going to form it into a bowl roughly and then I'm going to put it into my tin. Now the reason that I've got this inside a muffin tin is because it helps to retain the shape of these uh, fairly flimsy um, 
aluminium cups and I'm just going to press that until it goes up the sides like that and you could do this if you wanted to just in a muffin tin it will work just as well and I'm going to do that for all 12 And with the uh, pastry rolled out or, or pushed into the uh, cases like that, I'm going to take um, about, I think, about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of the mixture, the mincemeat, and put it into each one. I may have more mincemeat here than I need, but it doesn't matter. It can be used for another recipe. So I've filled those reasonably well, I'll just put that to one side for a minute and now we need to do the tops and what we need to do is cut this into 12 And then we need to just take one piece at a time and form that into a disc. Now you can roll this out if you want with a rolling pin, about seven centimeters in diameter, but I actually find that I can usually do that just in my hand, just by pressing it like that. And then, when I've got it into the right diameter, place it on the top and press it down all the way round, like that. And then what we need to do for each one is to put a hole in the middle like that. So I'll do the other 12, the other 11 shall I say, and with the um, mince pies filled like that and topped I've actually decided I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, granulated sugar on the top of each one. So maybe a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half to cover all 12. And I have my oven uh, preheated now, I should have mentioned it earlier, to uh, 190 Celsius, that's 170 Celsius with a fan, 375 Fahrenheit, and these are ready to go in and to bake. And where there's a few creases on the pastry, that should actually even out during baking, so it should be fine. So I'm going to put those into the oven 
and I'm going to bake them for 25 to 30 minutes until they've got a nice golden brown on top and I'm uh, sort of fairly sure that the pastry is baked through on the bottom as well. Then I'll take them out of the oven and allow them to cool down and I'll come back and show you the results. The mince pie is baked and I baked mine for about 27 minutes in fact. Took them out of the oven and allowed them to cool down and this is what they look like. So I've taken um, a couple out of um, the silver cases and uh, nicely baked and the underside is baked well as well. So um, I'll have a taste of one. The pastry is so tender, it almost melts in the mouth. I could put it between my fingers and just crush it to dust. No. And then the sweetness of the, the mince meat as well. These are very, very good indeed. Very, well, actually quite easy to make. Um, I would say very easy, quite easy to make. They take a little bit of time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on which will take you to this recipe and I'll put a link below the video for this as well. But I will also put links below the video for my other mince pies which have a slightly sturdier pastry and they're done in a bun tin. Um, and I'll put a link for the mince meat as well in case you want to make your own mince meat. So that's going to be it for today. I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.